In this video, we are going to set up the FL Studio patcher to modulate the macro sliders in Flex. The FL Studio patcher is a powerful plugin container that enables you to chain multiple instruments and effects for easy reuse in other projects. To begin, locate the patcher plugin in the instrument folder and drag it into the channel rack. Now let's add the fruity envelope controller to the patcher by dragging it onto the patcher window. Make sure the MIDI from FL Studio is connected to the MIDI input of the fruity envelope controller. Delete the surface node as we won't need it. For a better view, turn off the mini map. Now right click the envelope controller, select outputs and activate all the articulators. Add the Flex plugin onto the patcher as well, and make sure the MIDI input is connected to the MIDI from FL Studio, and the main output is connected to the audio output. Double click the node to open up the Flex instrument. Choose a preset for Flex. I like the Rhodes Basic under the Essential Pianos category. Right click each of the macro sliders and select activate to enable the connection. Now that the input parameters are activated, let's connect each one of them to the envelope controller. Double click the envelope controller node to adjust the articulator setting. We want to randomize the flex slider, so turn off the envelope articulation and select random from the drop down list. Adjust the left point to negative 100, right point to 100 for lower and upper articulation limits. Click this little arrow here, select copy state. Go through each articulator and paste the state to set all of them to the same as articulation 1. Once everything is set, as you can see, the sliders move randomly each time a key is played on the flex. You can experiment with the lower and upper limit of the randomized range to adjust the amount of randomness you desire for modulating the flex sliders. More complex modulations can then be done this way easily. Let's listen to the patch or modulations I've created with a mix of FL Studio and other effects. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest videos from Abyssinthony. Thank you for watching and happy music making.